Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom, and in honor of the Halloween season, we're going to be having a month long of ghost Pokemon videos. So for today's video, we're going to be having a live battle from the early 2023 format, which at the time of this recording consists of the set Sword and Shield up until Lost Origins. On one side, we've got the Ghost Dragon Pokemon Giratina V-Star, going up against Legendary Golem Pokemon Regigigas on the other side. So we'll see which of these two decks can take the victory today. But before we begin, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and to my Twitter account, at Holland underscore Phantom, so you don't miss out on any new Pokemon TCG content. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the battle. And here we go, the battle has started, with both players flipping over their starting Pokemon. On the Regigigas side, we've got Regidrago as the active Pokemon, and on the Giratina side, we've got Comfey as the active Pokemon. The Giratina side is going first, playing Battle VIP Pass to search the deck for two basic Pokemon to add to their hand. And the ones chosen are going to be a second Comfey and a Giratina V. Coming to the player's hand, probably also coming down onto the bench. Yeah, there they go. Immediately coming down. The active Comfey activates his ability Flower Selecting, letting the player look at the top two cards of the deck, keep one in hand, and then sending the other one to the Lost Zone. And then we see the player uh, using a die to keep track of how many cards are in the Lost Zone. So we've got one so far. Next, the player uses a card switch to swap out their Comfy. Now the new active one also activates the ability to get another card into their hand. And it looks like the one chosen is going to be a second battle VIP pass to once again search the deck for two more basic Pokemon. The next one chosen is going to be a Radiant Greninja, followed by a second Giratina V. Alright, so we've already got four benched Pokemon on the very first turn of the game. The Giratina side is off to a pretty good start so far. Okay, there's the Radiant Greninja and the Giratina V. So they just need one more Pokemon on the bench to fill up their side. The Giratina, not the Giratina, the Radiant Greninja is going to activate its ability Concealed Cards, discarding uh, Grass Energy from the hand to then draw two cards from the deck. Followed by the Energy Attachment for the turn, it's going to be a Psychic Energy coming down to one of the Giratina. And now it's going to be the turn. And now it's going to be the Regigigas side. The first card played is going to be Path to the Peak, the Stadium, which blocks all abilities from Pokemon with a rule box, so Radiant Greninja will no longer be able to use this ability. Next, the player activates uh, Capture Energy attached to the Regidrago to then search the deck for any basic Pokemon to add to their bench. And the one chosen was a Regieleki, followed by a Regigigas also coming down. And the next card is going to be a Quick Ball, discarding one card from the hand to get another basic Pokemon to add to their hand. This time is going to be a Regie Ice. Now the point of the Regigigas deck is to get one of each Regie Pokemon onto the bench to get Regigigas to activate its ability Ancient Wisdom to accelerate energy from the discard pile. So they just need two more Pokemon to fill up their bench. Trekking Shoes, like at the top card of the deck, it looks like it was an energy that was immediately discarded to then add the second card drawn to keep to their hand, followed by a second Trekking Shoes. And now Regidrago activates his ability Dragon's Horde, letting the player draw until they have four cards in hand. Okay, it looks like that's it for their turn. So they still need two more Pokemon to fill up their bench, and now the turn passes over to the Giratina side. They're starting off by activating Colrus's Experiment to look at the top five cards of their deck. They can choose to keep three of those cards in their hand and send the other two to the Lost Zone. So now Giratina's got four cards in the Lost Zone. The next card is going to be a Training Court. It's a stadium that bounces the path to the peak on the other side, and it's going to go ahead and activate the ability of Training Court to get back the discarded Grass Energy and put it back in their hand. The active Comfy activates Flower Selecting once again to look at the top two cards, keep one, and put the other one at the Lost Zone, followed by Radiant Greninja to draw two more cards again. A lot of actions going on for the Giratina side. The Energy Attachment is going to be a Grass Energy to the Giratina V, and now the player is also going to be activating Escape Rope. Now both players have to swap their active Pokémon. On the Regigigas side, Regieleki comes up active, and on the Giratina side, the second Comfy comes up active, which also activates his ability. And now we've got six cards in the Lost Zone for Giratina. Okay, that's going to be it. No attacks coming through just yet. Turn passes over to Regigigas. And now the player attaches a second Capture Energy, this time to the active Regieleki, to search the deck for another basic Pokemon. The next one chosen is going to be Regirock. So now it looks like the player just needs the Registeel to complete the set. Do they have the necessary cards? Okay, they use Scoop Up Net to pick up the active Regieleki, discarding the Capture Energy that it was... Uh, that was attached to it. Regidrago comes back into the active spot, probably to use his Dragon Horde ability again to draw some more cards. Uh, yeah, there's the ability activated. The player gets to draw one card, and that's it! Still no Registeel. Turn passes back over to the Regi... 
uh, sorry, to the Giratina side. Training Court activates once again to get back the discarded energy from the previous turn. And Comfy activates Flower Selecting. Now that's seven cards in the Lost Zone for the Giratina side. That's going to be enough cards to activate the effect of Mirage Gate later in the game. A third energy comes down into the Giratina V. Now it's going to be able to use its Shred Attack. A scoop up net picks up the active Comfy, and now Giratina V comes into the active spot, so we're probably going to be seeing the first KO of the game. Yeah, there's the attack declared. Shred hitting four. How much damage is that? 160 damage, taking a KO on Reggie Drago, and Giratina takes its first prize. On the Reggie Gigas side, Reggie Alecki comes up as a new active Pokemon, and the player activates Ultra Ball to discard two cards in the hand. It looks like it was a Twin Energy and Reggie Ice. And now they can search the deck for any Pokemon, and the one chosen is going to be a second Reggie Drago coming immediately back onto the bench. So they still need that Registeel to complete their combo, but do they have a way to get it? Okay, a Super Scoopa picks up the Reggie Alecki. Reggie Drago comes into the active spot. Okay, here comes Reggie Alecki once again. A Choice Belt is attached to the benched Reggie Alecki. Looks like the player's trying to thin out their hand as much as possible to draw more cards. That is one, two, three cards drawn. Okay, let's see if they finally get the Pokemon they need. Yes, they do. They finally get the Registeel. And now with one of each Reggie in play, Reggie Gigas can activate its ability. Uh, but before the ability is activated, an Aurora, Aurora energy is attached to the active Reggie Drago. And the supporter's going to be Marnie. Now both players have to shuffle their hands, put them at the bottom of the deck. The Regigigas side gets to draw five cards, while the Giratina side only gets to draw four cards. Let's see what the Regigigas side can do next. Another Path to the Peak comes into play, getting rid of the opponent's training court. And an Ordinary Rod is played to shuffle a couple of discarded Pokémon back into the deck. The ones chosen are going to be the Regidrago that was KO'd last turn, and the Regigigas that was discarded earlier with an Ultra Ball. Ordinary Rod is a really good consistency card to keep recycling these Regi Pokémon and to keep the combo going. A Quick Ball is activated, discarding it looked like it was a Gift Energy to search the deck for any basic Pokemon to add to their hand. And the one chosen is going to be the second Reggie Drago that was shuffled back into the deck just now. And it looks like the player is already anticipating that the active Reggie Drago is going to be KO'd, so they're getting a second one ready for the following turn. Okay, here we see Reggie Gigas finally activating its ability Ancient Wisdom. And now it can accelerate up to three discarded energy cards onto any Pokemon on its side of the field. And here we see an Aurora energy and a Gift energy being attached to the active Reggie Drago, which now powers up its attack. Giant Fangs hitting Giratina for 160 damage. Okay, turn passes over to the Giratina side again. Okay, and the item is going to be a Mirage Gate, finally. Mirage Gate needs at least seven uh, cards in the Lost Zone to be activated. But it then lets the player attach two basic energy cards from the deck onto any Pokemon inside of the field. And we see a Psychic Energy and a Grass Energy attached to the Benched um, Giratina. And the Manual Attachment is going to be a Grass Energy as well. So the Benched uh, Giratina is now also fully powered up. Giratina attacks with Shred, taking a second KO. And it also triggered the effect of the Gift Energy that was attached to the Reggie Drago, letting the player... Draw until they have seven cards in hand, and now Regigigas has a full hand. They promote their Regielecki once again, and now it's Regigigas' side. The second uh, Regidrago that was in hand comes back down to the bench. And a Speed Energy is attached from the hand to the active Regielecki, letting the player draw two cards from the deck through the ability of the Speed Energy. Next, the Trekking Shoes is played. The player looks at the top card of their deck, and it looks like they decided to keep it in their hand instead of discarding it. And now Regigigas activates Ancient Wisdom. So it looks like uh, the energy is going to be coming down onto the active Regieleki to use its Terra Spark attack. Yeah, it's a Gift Energy and Aurora Energy once again to pay the attack cost of Terra Spark. And there's the attack declared, hitting the active Giratina for 120 damage to take the KO, and also hitting the benched Giratina and the benched Comfy for 40 damage each. And now because it knocked out a V Pokemon, the Regigigas side can take two prizes, and both sides are currently tied. Uh, but Regieleki does have to discard all its uh, lightning energies because of its attack, leaving it with the uh, gift energy still attached. On the Giratina side, Comfy comes up as the new active Pokemon, and let's see what else they can do for the turn. An air balloon is attached to Comfy, giving it a free retreat cost, and it activates ability Flower Selecting to once again look at the top two cards of the deck, 
put one in the Lost Zone and keep one in hand. So now they're up to eight cards in the Lost Zone. A second Comfy comes down. The active one retreats, and the new one comes into the active spot. And it's also going to activate its ability to look at the top two cards again. Comfy is a really good card to search through the deck to um, fill up the, the hand with any necessary cards, and also to fill up the Lost Zone to power the effect of uh, Mirage Gate. Another escape rope is played. The Regigiga side promotes Registeel, and the Giratina side pr promotes Giratina V. And there's the attack declared, Shred, taking a one-hit KO on Registeel, and that's three prizes taken by the Giratina side. Regieleki comes up active once again, and does the player have a Registeel in hand? Yeah, they did. They have the second one ready to go, so Regi Regigigas can still activate his ability. Another Ordinary Rod is played to shuffle back in the KO'd Regidrago and Registeel back into the deck. So like I said earlier, um, Ordinary Rod is just there to keep the combo going by uh, giving the player constant options of Regi Pokemon to cycle through. Regigigas activates Ancient Wisdom, and we're going to see the energy coming down onto Regieleki. It's going to be the Speed Energy and the Aurora Energy to power its Terra Spark again. And uh, let's see, Aurora Energy is attached from the hand to the bench Regigigas, and there's the attack declared Terra Spark hitting the active uh, Giratina for 150 damage because of the Choice Belt. They take a KO on the Comfy that had damage from the previous turn, and the new Comfy also takes 40 damage. So that is one prize taken by Regieleki. Okay, there's all that damage coming down. Okay, turn passes over to Reggie. I'm sorry, not Reggie. Uh, Giratina once again. A Cramorant comes down for the Giratina side, and a second Mirage Gate is played, accelerating two more basic energy cards onto any Pokemon on their side of the field. So it's going to be a Water Energy and a Psychic Energy coming down onto... Um, what? Let's take a look. Onto the active Giratina. Okay, it's going to use those two energy to pay the retreat cost. And then promote the Cramorant. Cramorant uh, has the ability called Lost Provisions, which activates if the player has at least four cards in the Lost Zone, letting it attack for free. A Zigzagoon came down, activating its ability to deal 10 damage to the active um, Regieleki on the opponent's side, and then Cramorant can finish it off with its Spit Innocently attack, hitting for 110 damage to take the KO. Okay, let's see. On the Regigigas side, a second Regieleki comes back down onto the bench. And Scoop of Net picked up the active Regidrago, so Regieleki comes back into the active spot. Regidrago is benched once again. Regigigas activates Ancient Wisdom to accelerate the energy onto... Probably Regieleki again. Regieleki and Regidrago are the main attackers of this deck, it looks like. Yeah. The Gift Energy, Speed Energy, and Aurora Energy are attached onto Regieleki, and there's the attack. Terra Spark. Taking a KO on both Cramorant and the Benched Comfy for two prizes, and 40 damage is dealt to the Benched um, Zigzagoon. So now the Regigigasite is down to a single prize on the Giratina side. It looks like a Giratina had, has evolved into Giratina V-Star, and the item is going to be a Quick Ball to discard a card from the hand to search the deck for any basic Pokémon. Uh, but it looks like no Pokémon was chosen. The search failed. Okay, and there's the attack declared. This time it's going to be Lost Impact, hitting for 280 damage, taking an easy KO, but it also comes with the side effect of sending two energy cards from its side of the field to the Lost Zone. So now Giratina is down to just one energy card, but both sides are down to just one more prize on the Reg Regigiga side. Uh, Regigiga still needs another Regieleki to activate the Regigiga's Ancient Wisdom, but it looks like both of them were discarded already, so now the player's using uh, Professor's Research to hopefully draw into an Ordinary Rod to shuffle the Regieleki back into the deck. And if they can search it back, onto, back out of the deck, they can win the game this turn. Okay, a Gift Energy is attached to the active Regidrago, along with a Choice Belt, and an Air Balloon is attached to Regigigas, and... Oh, that's it! Nothing else comes down! So the Regigigas side cannot find Regieleki this turn, and let's see what Giratina can do. If Giratina can get a Psychic Energy, it can use its... Star Requiem attack to take a KO and take the final prize. So do they have the Psychic Energy? Uh, not yet. A Lost Vacuum is played, sending a card from the hand to the Lost Zone to get rid of the opponent's Path to the Peak. And with Path to the Peak gone, Radiant Greninja can now activate its 
Concealed Cards ability, discarding Water Energy to draw two cards from the deck. So it looks like the player is really searching for that final Psychic Energy to win the game. Okay, there's an Ordinary Rod. Shuffling. Psychic Energy and Psychic Energy. Oh, it looks like that's it. No Pokemon are being shuffled back in, just the Energy. The player is trying to give themselves as much chance to draw into a Psychic Energy because it looks like they still don't have it. And now both players are racing to find the card they need. Giratina needs a Psychic Energy to win. And Regigigas needs Regieleki to win. Let's see who's going to win this race first. Uh, Luminian V came down for the uh, Giratina side to search the deck for Roxanne to use on the following turn. And now it's the Regigigas side. Yeah. Both players are desperate to find the final card they need. Okay, here's a Marnie coming down from the Regigigas side. Both players put the cards on their hand at the bottom of the deck and draw new cards. Do they finally have the Ordinary Rod to shuffle the Regieleki back into the deck? They do! Okay, so we're going to be seeing Regieleki shuffled back in. But they're also going to need a, a card to search Regieleki back onto the bench. So either a Quick Ball, an Ultra Ball, or a Capture Energy. Do they have either of those cards to search Regieleki? Because if they can do it, they can win the game this turn. Okay, a Speed Energy is attached to the active Regi Drago. And it activates Dragon Horde. It looks like they're hoping to draw into it. Okay, another path to the peak comes down to shut off Radiant Greninja once again. Oh, and the turn passes! They still don't have Regieleki! Does Giratina have the Psychic Energy? Yes, they do! And that's going to be the game. That's the attack declared. Star Requiem to take an automatic KO on Reggie Drago to take the final prize. And oh, it looks like the final prize for the Reggie Gigas was the Quick Ball. And there's the Handshake. Giratina V-Star is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.